that is a for junior science team now like this for young professionals uh, we have innovation challenge track maker fair track and uh, for women uh, students we have a separate uh, track for that at least one uh, women uh, or a girl student must be women engineer has to be there as part of the event uh, like this several tracks are there so what we primarily look for is uh, whatever the innovative ideas relevant to the sustainable development goals uh, there are 17 sustainable development goals you all might have been aware of any of you are aware of those 17 goals any idea what are the sustainable development goals no poverty good health uh, so united nation have come up with uh, uh, 17 goals uh, in uh, by they want to this is an urgent call for all the uh, countries developing and the developed countries uh, to achieve uh, or to, to do uh, something technologically so that we can achieve all those goals okay so if uh, i want every one of you to explore about what is uh, sustainability or what is a sustainable development goals the entire show or this uh, this uh, event is completely based on targeting or uh, the theme is completely pertaining to the sustainability or sustainable development goals itself okay uh, so uh, he was uh, jagdish was a campus ambassador of je you are from which campus jagdish no i am from jp engineering college now I was a campus ambassador of Junior Einstein. Okay, okay, okay. So this year you are attached with which track? Now I am a technical lead of uh, special track, ma'am. And also a volunteer of uh, SS12. SS12, okay. Very good. Okay. Abdul, are you waiting for some more ambassadors? Yes, ma'am. I think we can start in another one or two minutes, ma'am. Okay, okay. The aim of uh, this uh, event is to get the participants from all over the world. Okay, so here uh, I, I think uh, Abdul might have given some heads on about what are the things we are expecting. So for this, uh, they, because last year we had around 3000 plus participants all over the world for all the tracks. Even this time also we are expecting more participants. Uh, so as this event uh, we have already is, is being started here, and we are getting participants from some regions, uh, like region 10, we are getting some participants. But we wanted the uh, participants from all the uh, uh, rest of the regions as well. That's why this meeting has been called for. Thank you. Thank you for briefing uh, our things, ma'am. I think uh, at the end of this presentation, this uh, orientation program, they will be understand what they expect from them. So I think let's start, ma'am. So it's already we give 10 minutes for the volunteers to join. Also, we are recording this call so we can share it with them. So first, I would like to thank all the uh, volunteers who took your time and uh, attending this uh, orientation program. It's been uh, uh, good to see a lot of people turning in in this uh, Sunday evening. So thank you all. Uh, so Tino will be uh, taking you over a little tour uh, about uh, what is site places so about the tracks in native places so what we expect from you people so i think uh, you know you can uh, start your presentation now hi uh, thank you abdul harikana uh, uh good day good morning good afternoon good evening uh, depend on the time zones uh so a uh, great welcome to all the publicity volunteers uh uh, myself, uh, Tino Prashantas. I am publicity lead of uh, Junior Engineering Track, uh, uh, IEEE SS12 volunteer. So I, I am here to present you, uh, give some insights about IEEE SS12. So uh, the IEEE SS12 is uh, generally called as Youth Endeavors for Social Innovation Using sustainable technology so it was formed formally called as ss12 so uh, basically ss12 is a uh, international innovation project competition so where the participants are the pre-university students or the industry persons or the university students uh, can participate in this international program from all over the world it's not i there is no border for it so uh, it it is an international event. Uh, so it it look it will have a great platform to all the students. So let's let's 
uh, go into the presentation. So today, uh, our agenda of this uh, presentation will be about uh, about the uh, SS12 uh, and uh, tracks in SS12 and the roles and responsibilities of the publicity volunteers and uh, about how the uh, flowchart or the plan will be uh, tossed on the points and last regarding the uh, question and answer, answer session. So let's talk about uh, SS12. So it, uh, as a and said earlier, uh, SS12 is uh, mainly focusing on the innovators uh, to bring uh, solutions to the social problems uh, that the world uh, have present now. So uh, this year, SS12 is uh, is gonna be hybrid event. Uh, hybrid event means both it will take place in offline event. So the event will take place in at uh, Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bengaluru, India, on September. 10th, 12th, uh, 2022. So, uh, so the participants can uh, direct uh, who are selected for the grand finale. Uh, they can present their project in Sri Venkateshwara College. Uh, so, if the participants uh, from any other country is not able to take part, uh, they can also be present their project via virtual mode. So, the event of this year will be a hybrid mode. So, it will be organized by track. Uh, Bardi ma'am, you can uh, uh, inform about the uh, detail, give detailed description about uh, Maker Fair Track. Uh, thank you, Tino. Uh, Maker Fair Track, the audi uh, target audience for this event may, may be a pre final year students or a final year students. Any uh, graduates or uh, any um, anyone who is working in an incubator, incubation center, or in startups, even they also can participate in this. So the primary objective of this Maker Fair event is to, uh, con con uh, to consider the ideas which can be converted into a product. But we can even give a chance for the students or the participants who have an idea which can be showcased as a prototype is also been accepted. So either prototype can be in hardware prototype or that could be in software simulation as well. Okay. So what we are expecting from you guys is we want you to uh, uh, publicize this as uh, to the all the possible um, third year students or a pre final year or final year students of any engineering college or any other uh, different uh, stream of students or any uh, young graduates or in fresh graduates uh, whoever have an idea that can be converted into a prototype those uh, participants can register for it this is also a, a three to four members can participate in a team uh, here we have two entries, two possible entries are there. We are uh, looking for a direct entry here. Either they can go for a pilot registration, the way they go for IC track and then they will come back here. But what we expect here is, here we wanted the people to register for a direct entry. Uh, so the de all the details about uh, the registration, everything has been given in the website. And even the poster is also available. As Aldi Abdul was mentioning, there is only hardly 20 days was left over to submit the uh, abstracts. If needed, we can give some more extended time also till July 10th, we can give the extension for submitting the abstracts. The theme of the event would be pertaining to the sustainable development uh, or sustainable technologies as well. Okay, so kindly uh, target the pre-final year, final year students or any fresh graduates or MIN startup persons or those who have an idea which is converted which can be uh, converted into a product or into a prototype can register for this track okay so i uh, request every one of you to uh, publicize uh, to the all the regions because we have got registrations only from the r10 regions we are expecting more registrations from the other regions as well okay uh, so, and also I feel that uh, every ambassador uh, have to at least bring one or two registrations for uh, this track as well. This is what uh, Ramata ma'am is also telling that. Uh, so, here all these is uh, completely depending upon the direct entry. This event is uh, depending, uh, depends upon the direct entry uh, major, majority. So, we want your cooperation and the support uh, for promoting this event to all the target audience. If there is any doubt in this? Or you need any clarifications on this? Any hardware or any software proto prototype can also be uh, demonstrated for the finale pre prelims and for the finale as well. Okay. 
Uh, that's all from my end, Abdul and Tino. You can proceed for the next track. If there is any oh. queries, we can uh, take it up further. Okay, fine. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I think uh, everything is clear, so people doesn't have any doubt. It's clear cut. So as ma'am was mentioning, the um, uh, the thing is that uh, you can find a person like it can be a, even a first year students so if he has some small idea which can be converted into a product or it can be converted into a prototype then you can approach them the why ma'am was uh, pitching this uh, pre final or final students is it's easy for you to go and find people right so you can go and talk with your college seniors and you can make them to register for the event so that's the reason we are uh, telling that uh, target pre final year and final year students but it's open to all, all the uh, students in engineering or even in uh, non engineering uh, college you can go yes. and find them so yes. that's the reason ma'am was pitching this uh, okay i think uh, on the other note we can move to the next track i think yeah, yeah, uh, we can we can uh, even talk to first year students as well because they are very fresh minds they are any idea that can be uh, converted into a prototype that itself is sufficient. We are not even looking for a product, but whoever comes with a product, we will help them out because a lot of uh, speakers or the resource persons are there. They will help you out to how to convert an idea into a product as well. Okay, uh, please. Uh, thank you, Arthur. Thank you for Okay, asking. fine, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I thank think you, on that note, we are moving to the next track, uh, which is uh, Woman in Power uh, track that will be presented by Sahiti. Saiti, can you please uh, present your track? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Abdul, for carrying it out for me. So I'm the publicity lead for VPower Track. I'm Sahiti. So uh, pub uh, VPower Track, basically, the theme of our track is sustainable energy, that is uh, meeting the rising energy demands. So I listed out a few topics uh, on which abstracts can be submitted. One is smart grid, renewable energy, digitalization in renewable sector, power generation, transmission and distribution, energy management. These are just not the limited topics. You can go beyond it. Uh, for which you have to submit a solution for rising energy demands. It can be of anything. So uh, for here, we have the target participants on which the volunteers have to concentrate. That is all the engineering students who are interested in finding solution, as I said before, for raising energy problems. And uh, for which, the, for the mentioned topics, the suitable students would be from the electrical and electronics background, because they would be having potential knowledge about these sectors, so we can get most abstracts from them. And uh, for our track, abstract submission can be done even when you don't have a working model that is a prototype it is still fine you can submit your abstract if it is uh, worthy then you can be sent to finals and your direct submission also can be done without having a prototype so the major target and the major issue that is that differs from other stack in v power is to find a female participant because this track submission requires at least one female participant out of three to submit their abstract. So the keynote to all the volunteers is to find a female participant or a female colleges from which where we can get the potential abstract submissions. And that's all would be from my side. And if any doubts, you can tell. And one more thing is like, it would be really great and appreciable if volunteers could find a one abstract per person and submit an art track that would be really appreciable that's all from my side thank you sahiti uh volunteers kindly make note of that uh the track uh repo track is mainly on uh based on uh, energy side so the main issue is uh targeting the uh, one female participant so kindly make note of that and uh, so kindly focus on uh, female colleges or, uh, or other colleges too just mention that uh, one female student to be in the, present in the team. Thank you, Sahiti. Uh, next, so, uh, we'll go yeah, for the yeah, special yeah. track. I would like to add a point. So if you see the uh, themes for this, um, uh, VPower is um, uh, smart grid, renewable energy, digitalization in renewable sector, power generation and transmission and uh, distribution energy management. So basically, uh, for this track, you can go and target people from ECE, EEE, or mechanical, because 
those are people potentially working on this energy sector project so you can go and ask your seniors you can go and ask your college mates your colleagues uh, if you are working in energy sectors then uh, they can join potentially like uh, triple and ece they won't they mostly they will be co-ed and they can easily able to uh, join this competition so uh, we would uh, advise you to uh, go and um, promote this to EC and triple students mostly triple students are being uh, engaged with this power activities and also more some of the mechanical students uh, might do some uh, renewable energy products so you can target these departments so that you, you will be able to get submissions very easily that's it you know i'm done yeah okay uh, next we can go to a uh, special track so special track publicity lead uh, you can present Thank you, Tino. Okay. Yes, sir. So, hey all. Yeah, heartly congratulations to all the publicity volunteers who have joined here. So, myself, Manisha Yen, from St. Joseph College of Engineering. Currently in the assistable, my role is publicity lead for the special track. So, when it comes to the special track, we have four topics. They are medtech, fintech, EdTech and Biotech. So these are the topics for our special track. And the target participants for our special track are when it comes to the MedTech, all the medical and engineering students who have done their projects are working there in, in this ideas related to the healthcare and Medicare services, they can go with the MedTech. And when it comes to the FinTech, all the commerce students and account department students who have done the projects in the accounting or financial related projects, they can go with the FinTech. When it comes to the EdTech, all the engineering students who have creative ideas for educational technologies and due to the COVID-19, there are many online sessions. So your ideas may be helpful for our current, current trend. And next comes to the biotech. This is our final topic all the students who have created ideas for environment improvement are encouraged to apply so environment improvement means that is nothing but related to the ideas in fossil fuels or renewable energies or some other energy beneficial for our current environment they can go with the biotech so these are the points to remember from the special track each team should be maximum of four members and then the members can be from any of the institutions that is there is no limit from a member should be in one college or any other academic institution they can be from any academic institutions and you can tell other persons to motivate like this since a person is sub submitting an abstract he can get a lot of inputs from the industry leaders and he can develop a project management skills in from working in the ss tool competition and it is a great opportunity to get a lots of networks. So use this opportunity and uh, try to submit abstracts. So this is from my side. Okay, thank you, thank you, Manisha. So as Manisha was telling about these tracks, right? So they have four uh, themes like medtech, fintech, edtech, and biotech. As he was uh, explaining, so you can go and target the people uh, who been into it like um, if you take medtech you can go for people in medical if you don't know someone from medical so you can go and find people someone like triple or ec who are uh, developing a medical device medical electronics so i think that's uh, one thing which you can do like fintech you can go and uh, check with people in cs or it because they might be working on uh, ca projects uh, web projects or android app projects for fintech so you can go for uh, those kind of students so edtech i think anyone who have uh, ideas for um, uh, doing activities for educate promoting the education they, you can go and ask uh, those people and for biotech as he was saying you can also go and uh, find people from mechanical or uh, triple e who are uh, doing such kind of projects so that will be helpful for you uh, to get more number of uh, submissions i think uh, we can move to the next track junior engine track can you can you please explain about your track yeah i will just explain uh next we gonna see about a uh, junior engine track so uh, basically junior engine track is a special uh something uh, uh new and uh, very interesting uh because it's mainly focusing on the uh, school students uh pre-new city students 
so uh, the theme is basically on the social humanitarian pro projects there is no particular uh, topic need to be selected so yeah open theme to all the school students uh, they can submit their projects so the team can be of maximum four or single person so the target audience mainly focused on the uh, school students so the st students studying in school from 6th standard to 12th standard can basically participate in this uh, event uh, so they need to uh, there need, need not to be any prototype just they have an idea or a fine solution so they uh, just a basic prototype model is enough uh, so uh, the part uh, you need to uh, volunteers uh, you can uh, kindly focus on the uh, school students uh, in, in in and around you you can also reach out to the schools uh, the university uh, near to you so you can also inform uh, create awareness and uh, inform them about our track so just or uh, you can also uh, by a, by website you can also contact uh, through phone call mail you can uh, just uh, send uh, you can just uh, contact them or you can you have friends uh, sisters or the brothers who are studying in the schools so you just inform and reach out to them uh, inform them about the event just uh, I ask them to uh, participate uh, in the direct entry so uh, the direct entry participants are more important for junior engine track uh, so requesting all publicity volunteers uh, to uh, to take uh, uh, priority and uh, do uh, reach out to the schools if uh, what are the possible ways you can also reach out so these are the junior engine track uh, mainly the track is for school students so kindly focus on them uh, so next, uh, we are gonna see about uh, the roles and responsibilities of the volunteers. Uh, to Bro, you. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Tino, just yeah. I would like to add a point on your track. So, like uh, as Tino was mentioning, you can go and find your friends, and you can uh, ask your friends, um, brothers and sisters, to attend the program. Also, another thing is that most of you have uh, NSS in your college. Most of your college might go for uh, uh, nearby uh, call nearby schools to help them if. Uh, you can also try to reach out to ANSS or NRC. So if they are involved in uh, uh, projects in uh, schools and colleges, so you can go and ask um, assistance from them so that uh, through uh, NSS or NCC, we can you can uh, able to connect with the schools and uh, you can go and talk with the school management. Like this is an international um, talent show competition that is being conducted by IEEE. So anyone can uh, come and attend. So your um, students' uh, talent will be shown to a lot of uh, people from uh, industrial um, uh, industry. So they will get some industrial support. So your school will get an outreach for. So you can promote in that way. So that is another way. Like uh, you can. Uh, Try to find a um, resource which has been already connected with uh, schools. So also, if you know someone who is working in NGO and they are concentrating on schools, then you can also reach out to them and explain the process. So this is how it uh, happens. So you can try to come pull your students uh, and then they can participate and show their talents in front of uh, international audience. So that's how you can promote this track. So this is something as you know, mentioning some interesting thing like you can go and talk with your relatives so who is in school so he, you can ask him to participate something uh, like that would be um, great and a good experience for you so when you go step in into a professional career this is this kind of uh, connections this kind of uh, communication will really helps you a lot in a professional career so that's it you know you can explain the roles and responsibilities of ambas just now yeah thank you so much Anna. Uh, next, we are going to see about the uh, roles and the responsibilities of the volunteers. So the uh, primary focus of uh, any publicity volunteer is to uh, uh, pub uh, maximize the outreach. So you need to uh, reach out if any poster of the content of player is shared, to, shared in the WhatsApp group. Just uh, kindly make post in uh, just share uh, all the posters and the contents from IEEE SS12 page uh, to uh, regional groups. Uh, you can also search in face Facebook. You can also type IEEE groups. So there will be a lot of groups. Uh, you can see uh, apart from India, there will be region 9, region 8, region 1 or 2, uh, other section uh, groups. So you can also, uh, you can also view them and uh, share uh, 
the post and the content to the maximum level to reach the uh, uh, to reach the maximum participants so if any uh, so if you reach the maximum participants uh, if you reach if any 10 members in the thing at least five members will reach will check out the website and the uh, other things uh, they will check for the eligibility whether they can purchase so your publicity will be in a greater thing uh, so you need to after that you can also like uh, abdulana said you can reach out to the colleges uh, like other tracks informed so you need to bring up more registration so uh, by bringing that uh, you will uh, by the networking uh, you may make to them so it will also uh, make a greater uh, communication skill and the management skill so you will be assigned with a particular multiple task like uh, you need to bring out uh, abstracts so under to reach out uh, maximum uh, post and content publicity so you you can also share to uh, just in a, in a, while sharing the post uh, in social media you can also tag IEEE SSL pages and other regional uh, pages uh, in, in if you are if you are posting junior Einstein you can also tag other school pages if you are known in surrounding uh, you can also see the school names school pages pages you can also tag them uh, so by the way you can uh, reach out more publicity so uh, as you as you received a mail yesterday for the invitation you will also see the uh, volunteers referral id so uh, kindly uh, all the volunteers make not, note of your uh, referral ids so uh, the, it will be helpful uh, in getting your points on abstract submission uh, so uh, while if any uh, if your friend is uh, submitting any abstract to any track by registration uh, they will give the personal details in that the referral code column uh, the option will be available if any uh, person uh, or the friend registers uh, a project submission so in that referral code uh, column uh, you can give your referral code or uh, the referral id that is being provided to you so by that uh, we will uh, get to know that uh, the abstract this abstract is been submitted under your volunteer your, your your publicity so by that way uh, we get to know what are the uh, the ambassadors uh, outreach the work uh, that you have been done so uh, we will be also giving the bonus task uh, to boost up the points so the uh, best performing volunteers uh, will get uh, uh, get the most uh, you will get the certificate of appreciation which will goodies uh, the mementos and uh, will be featured uh, in any uh, you will be uh, given a role to uh, participate or uh, work in an IEEE SS12 team so if your if your publicity work is greater next year uh, you will be called for the uh, committee member like uh, you can also take part as a, in any track a publicity volunteer you can also uh, you have the chance to uh, participate as a volunteer to the ss team as a committee member so just uh, you can also uh, kindly uh, make note of that so next uh, how the task like as i informed you already whenever the promotional material or the post and content he shared you need to share in your all social media platforms like whatsapp as you can share to your uh, student branch whatsapp groups other uh, sectional groups uh, as a status and if you are uh, posting in instagram you can also post by tagging uh, iwss store page you can also put story uh, so in facebook also on twitter you can uh, re you can go to the iwss store pages uh, you can see the post and the content uh, that is being posted so that you can retweet the uh, post so by the way uh, you can uh, reach uh, reach the more publicity so uh, you can also you uh, the particular point that i need to mention you is uh, you need to uh, share it from the uh, iwe ss12 page uh, that will be posted already you need to just uh, share option just directly uh, share and tag our ss page you 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 need not do it separately like uh, select the photo and paste the content 
so uh, that will not be uh, that will be okay but not uh, it will not get more outreach so if you tag it will be a sister page it will bring uh, more publicity uh, so just uh, other thing need to be your uh, call for upset yeah, like, you know just i would like to some add some points before going to this can you please go back two slides before yeah before okay fine so as tenu was explaining the main target of uh, if not about uh, ss12 when you go to any uh, event and volunteer as a publicity volunteer so the first thing is that uh, the reach of the events right so that's one thing which everyone expects a uh, brand building so there how many uh, colleges we able to reach how many regions we able to reach so to be frank we will we are able to reach only two to three regions we couldn't able to reach region 1 to region 6 region uh, region 1 to region 6 we couldn't able to find any volunteer even for this publicity so we are also expecting you people to help us to get volunteers from these uh, regions so if you are been connected in uh, with any of the volunteer from region 1 to region 6 uh, you been volunteering for any other events and you met them you can ask them to volunteer for our events that that will be great also another thing is that we are expecting uh, the results okay so as uh, if you are volunteering you should prove yourself right so when you get 5 to 10 registrations then okay this guy is good as tinu was mentioning tinu started as a volunteer so he started as a volunteer just like you people he started as a volunteer today he elevated to lead at separate track he is taking care of junior ensign track so everyone started as a volunteer they just proved their worth they just um, uh, made the people feel he is capable of doing anything Thing. so he is capable of doing this task if he, he is given this task then he is capable of doing it in a best way than others so that's how you need to make the people feel so you been selected like we received around us uh, uh, 80 to uh, 90 applications we got it and then we shortlisted just 30 people because we felt like you are the people who can bring a change you are the people who are capable of doing it so um the results is being determined by the numbers and the submissions which we bring that's something which uh, everyone will expect okay if you go and uh, do volunteering for any other events uh, for a conference just imagine you are going and uh, doing for an event then they will ask you to bring 10 to 15 registration or 5 to 10 registration so that's the numbers will determine the success of the uh, publicity volunteers so that's one thing that i, I, I advise you i don't uh, stress yourself on the numbers but just do the progress so if you do the progress you will be happy at that okay i tried but it doesn't work so you just oh, everyone can come up with any idea so these are something which we want you people to argue and uh, outdate and um, update and also an uh, idea about how this track is been we can come up with any kind of idea so to make sure the event is going to be successful so you can get lot of um, uh, ideas we might be having so if you have any good ideas you can reach out to us so we are always open to do any kind of activities or any kind of uh, special webinars for the students or special webinars for the professional members or school students so we can come up with those things we can arrange with those people so if you have any ideas to more uh, outreach and also getting large number of uh, registrations for this abstract so you can, we, we are always open so you can come and uh, share your ideas also uh, one thing is that don't stress yourself so i need to get registration registration for you just try the process so that's what i expect so i i don't always stress people you should get the number of registration okay our success is going to be uh, determined by the numbers which we brought in but one uh, i always believe in my progress and process so if you do this process uh, the success is going to come this is just the product and product of your success so uh, i always advise you people to just do something okay at least take yourself some time and concentrate okay i am going to a uh, network with 5 to 10 colleges even if you don't know uh, any other college if you are new to this volunteering just go and, uh, join a uh, facebook uh, just type i trip and connect with people go to linkedin connect with people so you know you can move on to the next section also it is mentioned we uh, gave a referral id to uh, ambassadors you know can you please go to the next yeah yeah, yeah i just okay okay fine so okay, uh, just, yeah no before slide draw okay so tino was mentioning about these things right so why you share in uh, whatsapp so if you put a poster in the status it's not going to work so when you put a link that's going to make the people to click and see what this is all about so when you share in whatsapp if you put it in a status so put add the link to so kindly uh, learn more about you can put the link also when you share it in instagram you can add the link 
when you share in um, uh, linkedin so you can also use this story option as well as you can also share it as a post like while you sharing in other um, media i mean now you share from this uh, ss12 page just try to tag people so that it get out reach so even if you share a poster in facebook or if you share a poster in linkedin the reach will be less if you just uh, reshare it without any comments or without any uh, captions without tagging people so when you comment and when you uh, tag people it's give more outreach so you just do these things it's going to give more outreach so even if you don't know a person you can tag that person might be getting uh, an update of this even so as tino was mentioning if you ஹலோ <laughs> they might get aware of this what this people is tag me so i will go and check what is it so that's how you can use this social media for an outreach also welcome ramlata ma'am thanks for joining us thank you for inviting me abdul okay fine ma'am okay i think so i think you just you will explain as well one or two uh, slides and then we can have your inspirational sure. speech ma'am okay fine ma'am tinu you can finish your slides as a yeah uh, thank you ma uh just i'll just go through the slides uh, uh you will get uh, about the task and the points for the abstract submissions so volunteers can bring uh, as many abstract submissions uh, for all tracks so uh, as i informed uh, earlier you will be given a referral id uh, if any friend or any person in your network is submitting uh, any abstract you just uh, i while registration of uh, that participants there will be a column called a referral code so by that uh, you can give your referral uh, id so that they will uh, enter it into it they will submit it we will reach your uh, abstract submission under your id so next uh, for each abstract submission uh, you will be receiving about a 10 points so uh, as many abstract submissions if you uh, bring five abstract submission you will get about uh, 50 points so bonus points is like uh, for those who are bringing uh, more abstract submissions if uh, if any uh, if any volunteer bringing uh, 10 abstract submissions for any particular track alone uh, they will have uh, they will uh we awarded with uh, 25 extra bonus points if any uh, uh, volunteers are bringing abstract submission uh, uh, if uh, to uh, each uh, track they, he is bringing two two abstracts so uh, we will be uh, continuously monitoring it if any ambassador is uh, submitted for uh, multiple abstract submission on all tracks so he will be he or she will be awarded with 50 points so uh, these are the things uh, you will be uh, re- uh, receiving it on the points so i'll just uh, next uh, so i'll just uh, read out the names uh, who are in the publicity group so the overall publicity uh, will be abdul halik uh, myself uh, tino prashant for junior and senior track for special track uh, manisha vip track uh, sahiti and make up track aryan so we will be supporting uh, you all in all aspects uh, so if you have any qu- uh, queries or questions on any registration if any if any participant is asking doubt how to register where to register so uh, the if you have any qu- queries you can reach out uh, to us immediately so this person is asking we will help you in all aspects in bringing abstract submissions uh, so uh, that's all uh, thank you all uh, volunteers who have been listening uh, 
to this presentation uh, thank you so much okay you know so you are mentioning about 10 for 25 points i don't want to make it as 10 because it's really hard for people to get 10 so we can make it as uh 3 if they can able to bring 3 then they will be getting 25 points okay yeah you know make a note of it so we people also you just uh, have this in mind you, if you get three uh, registration for example if you getting three uh, registration in uh, junior instinct that so you will get 30 points plus another 25 points because you brought three right so that's how it's going to be for also if you get um, five registrations uh, i if you i mean it's four okay so we have only four tracks other two tracks we don't uh, have this up track submission so four tracks like um, the junior einstein and then make a fair and then um, we have this v power also we have this innovation challenge right so if you get able to get uh, registration for these four uh, one one registrations so you will be getting uh, 40 points plus another bonus point 50 so you will totally will be getting 90 so that's how this uh, bonus is going to work so hope you are clear so if you have any queries you can text and reach out to us anytime so whatever the ideas that you have you can uh, reach out to us at any time so if even if you have any kind of um, doubts or if you have any kind of ideas that can help us in uh, reaching more um, people in other regions we are always open to it and we are looking for to ideas and um, the strategies that can help us so always you people are welcomeable to share your thoughts even if you don't think that whether it goes to work or not you just if you want to ask the people they will say okay this is will this will work this will doesn't work so that's how we need to progress as a volunteer so then when you start if when you do these kind of activities and when you come to other higher position so it will be easy for you to manage uh, uh, everything i think ma'am uh, we are done with the presentation so you can just uh, tell about ourselves and our event and what are the kind of things which we want sure. from these people sure i think you would have already uh, talked about our races to well, right yes ma'am we gave them some small ideas So first of all, I would like to thank you and your team for bringing all these ambassadors. Uh, may I know uh, how many people have joined as ambassadors for today's meeting? Um, we had around ten to fifteen people joining at the starting, but people dropped off. I think five to six people's ambassadors are still in the call. Okay, right. Okay. so first of all i would like to welcome you all for this uh, ss12 uh, journey uh, which has actually given us uh, the best journey i would say for the past 6 years for all of our uh, volunteers we do have volunteers all over the world uh, in fact every year we have around 150 volunteers all over the world for running this as you know you might have seen in the website uh, for running uh this kind of operation it is impossible for us to do it with uh, less number of people we need as many number of people as possible and uh, thank you for uh, supporting us in this journey and i would like to talk about ipps is 12 history um, as i know it um uh in 2013 actually we had this ss12 saturday sunday 12 hours hackathon started along with a conference and we had only um, uh, two countries participating india and bangladesh and uh, after that uh, in 2016 we planned it as a full fledged one and uh, we started with two tracks innovation challenge and maker fair and we had around uh, four uh, countries and i am very happy to say that over the period it has increased the tracks also increased the number of pilots increased the participation of the universities increased and we have been able to scale it in such a way that the projects also have turned out to be um, really useful marketable commercializable products uh, many of the uh, project teams that uh, uh, have participated in this they have incubated and even started a startup and we are hoping that the same kind of entrepreneurial spirit can be developed uh, with all the students right now everyone is hunting for the job and rather than hunting for the job um, if they know the technicality behind why they are studying the engineering and how this technology can be really used for the society and uh, they can produce something which will be useful for the society 
then they need not uh, even hunt for the jobs because they know their technology and they know how to market it. So this is what we are planning to do. And for this, especially this year, we have actually introduced one special track called industry engagement track. Because many of our students uh, don't even think about uh, the standards when they are developing anything. Uh, many of the components come with the standards, but apart from that, it is also necessary for our students to actually know what these standards are, why it is important. For example, if they are going to have a, a healthcare product, then it has to go through a hell lot of uh, uh, standardization and they have to get a lot of permission. So without knowing anything about the standards, if they embark on producing a product, then definitely it will give them a lot of headache on the journey. So rather than that, we would like to uh, make them aware of the standards, understand how to uh, produce a product which will, um, uh, which will be consigned to these standards. And uh, we would also like to give some mentorship to these children uh, for making it into a product. Because many of them, they might just think about the projects uh, getting uh, recognized as the winner. That's it. Forget about it. After that, they might not even think about the actual outcomes of that project. But many of the projects that are being presented are great projects. The reason being, we actually wet them in two different um, two different stages. Um, one in the pilot stage and one in the final stage. Or if it is a direct entry, one during the uh, entry and uh, during the development stage and again in the final stage. So with that, the quality uh, of the projects, you can expect how important uh, importance uh, the, we are giving to the quality. And also each of the tracks that we have developed has a unique nature. Innovation challenge looks for only the innovation uh, component. Uh, but if you uh, go for a maker fair, then we look for the prototype itself uh, as much as possible nearer to the product. And the target audience are also different. Uh, the theme is also different in some of the tracks like V power and special track. So each one has a uniqueness. And because of this, we cater to all the necessities and all the requirements of the students in whichever area they want to excel in whichever technology they want to understand and uh, they want to learn we are able to provide them that uh, uh, fact as well as that uh, platform so this is what i want the ambassadors to spread to the students to make them understand uh, why this assist world will definitely be a life-changing um, career enhancement platform for them uh, this year we are also uh, launching an alumni forum for this uh, SS12 and uh, we are inviting the previous participants, the previous mentors, volunteers and everyone uh, to give their impressions, uh, their career growth, career enhancement, how they have grown and how they can mentor their juniors. So this is definitely going to be a family kind of uh, uh, involvement for them. So make them understand about this, how this network can help in their career growth in the future. And I hope uh, the ambassadors also will be inspired uh, to probably submit uh, some projects or encourage your uh, friends to submit some projects. Thank you so much uh, for joining us and uh, uh, giving us your uh, trust and confidence. Uh, I hope to see more of involvement here afterwards. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I think uh, we can click a picture together. So, part I mean, uh, ambassadors, you can switch on your camera so we can take a picture. It's good to see a lot of participants standing on the camera. Okay. Let me click. So, you know, you, you can also click some pictures. If 
friends thank you so if you have any queries so you can post your queries now participants you can join in our whatsapp group so if you have any queries you can post it there always we are ready to help so we are always there to help you so if you have any queries you can always reach to us even in, you can put it in the group or you can reach out to any of the track leads personally too they are ready to help you and support you in all aspects which we could able to do mm, i would like to suggest one thing here abdul um i would like to request the ambassadors to especially hunt for uh the power and energy sector uh or triple e i would say so uh if they can find any um students or any mentors uh, working on um electric vehicles or renewable energy models or anything definitely we would like to hear about that and uh, if there is uh, a possibility of them registering and presenting that would be really great so ask them to um find out uh, if that is possible because we power network is an important network um for the world bank the world bank uh, is depending on uh, increasing the women representation especially in south asian countries and we are ready to provide as much help to this uh, to this cause so you are representation and your support in this also will be really helpful sure ma'am we work as a team together and uh, we can get more number of participation we can target those yes. kind of people who work on it ma'am okay yeah. thank you i'm also a query i i received from the participant before they he was asking like uh, part whether the volunteers can register for the event uh register as participants you mean yeah, register they can submit abstracts they can participate or not yes they can definitely they can uh, uh, register and uh, but the only thing is um they need not mention that they are working for this uh, particular track or anything okay just they can register as a normal they participant can, they can definitely participate okay fine ma'am fine ma'am so do any other people do you have any questions you can post it in the chat box i think we are already 3 minutes late okay fine i think uh, people started leaving the meeting i think we can end the meet here thank you ma'am thanks for taking your time and coming and uh, motivating all of us and inspiring because even i don't know such things like ss12 something which you mentioned i was aware of those things now so thanks a lot ma'am thank, thank you thank all you so much ma'am Poland guys for being joining in. Thanks a lot. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, bye. So, so until so we can end this meeting, da. Fine. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. Thank you all.